Hey, what's going on guys? Rich Boy J here back again with another video and I am working on Star Killer once more. I'm super excited because um, this is the first stream in a while where you guys will actually be able to see what the heck I'm building. I'm actually going to be working on this side of the building over here so you guys will actually see actual progress being done and not just me kind of building behind this big structure right here. So. Um, yeah, that'll be a good thing. Uh, outside of that, guys, how are you all doing this lovely afternoon slash evening slash morning slash night for some of you? <clears throat> What's up? What's your question, DMK? Got Bunder Thacker. He says he's Colonel so Surge. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, that's an interesting name. I have not seen that name in the chat thus far. Got Piano Man, Lego Gamer 5502, CEO Clone Commander. I'm doing well. How about you, man? Got End Infinity. Congrats to Marfan20 for hitting 200. 200. 200. The other day I placed an order for like... I think I may have bought like 13 General Huxes. Because basically for all the officers sitting up here on the stage, we need them in the trench coats. And the only person that's come in the trench coat is Hux um, and the Kylo Ren command shuttle as well as, um, I guess, the, the Imperial, uh, the heavy uh, scout walker set. Um, so yeah, I got I had to buy a bunch of those guys. Of course, I'm going to be switching out the heads on them, but um, I got to get a bunch of General Huxes, which it wasn't dumb expensive, but it also wasn't dumb cheap. So I guess it was an adequate price. Um, but shout out to Brick Kid for the 199 donation. Appreciate that, man. I'm doing really well today. I'm super excited to uh, be working on this mock right now. You guys can see there's a considerable amount of progress. Well, actually, you can kind of see it. Um, the wall and slash building is really getting tall on that side. It actually was like twice this height, and then I realized I forgot to like incorporate something, so I had to like take it all apart. That's why I ended up with big chunks like these sitting here. But um. I'm not forgetting it this time, so moving forward, it should be good to go. Uh, DMK says, you mind if I do a LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga series like you do? It'll be a bit different. Of course not, man. Go for it. I urge you to do so. Four days into school. How has it been? So I've already said this, but what are you going... But are you going for a fan appreciation? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think... I'm, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what the Boyo Lounge is going to be in this mock. So um, you guys... Well, I think you guys are really going to like it. He says it's super humid and I have work later and it sucks. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Well, hopefully I can bring a little brightness and excitement to your day with the Boyo stream. It says, what's up? There's, uh, it says, it's only 9 p.m. Yeah, I wanted to do one somewhat early because um, I know you UK Boyos, you European Boyos, um, oftentimes get shafted when it comes to these streams and the times in which they start. Um, did I see your Insta story about your next mock? No, what is it? Enlighten a boyo. What's up, Creed? How you doing, bro? Yeah, so I'm basically just going to be working on this side of the building. I'm going to be trying to get it close to the height on this side. So, yeah, that's it. Do I like baseball? Do you have a favorite team? Um, I don't really like baseball. Like My default favorite team would be, um, what you call it, the Astros, because I'm from H-Town. Uh, what's up, Collecting Bricks? It's been a while since you've been around these parts. How you doing? Who else we got? Um, what's up, Mac Schweiderman? Ever thought about doing a mock from Stephen King's It? That'd be interesting. I don't know if I like that film enough to do a mock from it, but it certainly would be interesting. Alright, so let's actually build up some platforms. Where are my 4x6 plates? Here we are. It says, I know you stream so early nowadays. I feel like this is a good, like, compromise time. You know, it's not super late, but it's also not super early. Um, Captain Lego Star says, why is my girlfriend Phasma in your mock? You turned her against me. Are you asking why is, like, in this mock, why is your girlfriend Phasma? Or why are you asking why is 
Phasma, who is your girlfriend in this mock. Have you ever considered doing a mock that's not Star Wars? I did. I did an in and out mock. Everyone forgets about that awesome in and out mock that I did. Have I seen the images of the Lake Episode 9 figures? Yes, I have. He says, Phasma is my girlfriend. You stole her from me. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I had to do what I had to do. It was her choice. Collecting Brick says, Shake Shack is better than in and out That's why people forget about that mock. Oh, really? Well, how about people are going to forget about you once I ban you from the Rich Boy J streams? You keep speaking that nonsense. I've received some inside info about the upcoming UCS set from LEGO themselves. Ooh, we got the inside scoop from Creed. You gonna divulge that information or are you gonna withhold it? The only rule in the Rich Boy J chats is if you got some inside info, make sure you bring enough for everyone. What mocks do you know? Stored for the future, anything from Rise of Skywalker teaser, maybe a place or even series. Um, so I can almost assure you my next mock will be from Rise of Skywalker. I'm not willing to commit to what it's going to be until we see a little bit more of it and probably the film itself. But um, apparently, I'm thinking at D23 this weekend, we're going to see um, like a... I'm guessing maybe like a... Uh, behind the scenes thing for Rise of Skywalker. So um, you guys should look out for that. I think Saturday at D23, they're going to show off some stuff from Rise of Skywalker. So hopefully that'll shed some light as to what the big battle might be or even a big battle in the film. So this is actually a pretty big weekend for Star Wars. I don't know if you guys knew that. So um, they're definitely going to be sh showing something off about Episode Nine. My best guess is going to be a behind the scenes uh, reel. So Creed says it's going to be a 5,000 piece Ewok. Okay, I'm already liking what I'm hearing. With a wooden spear bashing... Hold on. Action feature, action feature with blinkable eyes. I think you, got, you had me sold on the blinkable eyes. You think they would include the blinkable eyes like initially though? Or they would kind of hold off on that and then include that as like an add-on set maybe um, many years down the line? Thank you, Mac. And he says, my last name is Schwigit. 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 Really? Am I missing something? What's up, Baxter Bricks? Baxter Bricks. I can't wait for a leaked picture of the UCS uh, Ewok set. What's up, Joan, Jan, Michael Productions? Well, it kind of, that reminds me of Jan Michael Vincent. Is your last name Vincent? Schwitterman. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. And add-on set. I don't know what world you're living in with add-on sets. That was a joke. If you didn't get it, then I don't. I don't. There's not much more I can do for you. The joke was referencing how the Ewoks didn't initially blink, but then later on, George Lucas... Never mind. What's up, King Kuehl? Man, y'all got some hard-to-pronounce names. Oh, my God. Everyone's name on YouTube is either some weird, creative like nickname like spiffy dart or their actual name that's hard for me to pronounce is this no it's obanion oh okay it'd be funny if it was shan michael vincent if that was your name 
says, Sup J, my name isn't hard to say. That's true. Nah, it's fine. I don't I don't mind you guys. This is names. Should take pride in your name. Don't let people tell you that your name's not worth pronouncing just because they don't know how to pronounce it. The collector bricks. Holy crap, so we have collecting bricks and the collector bricks. I like what I see. What's going on, um, KingFab87? How you doing? Max says, work on Starkiller instead of reading the chat. You must be new here. Um, I spend most of my time on these streams reading the chat. Trust me, I get plenty done on, on Starkiller off stream. He stole my name, I bet. So the funny thing is that he is actually a she, and she is actually a changeling. Isn't that right, Collecting Bricks? Do I need your help? What should I change my name to? Uh, why do you want to change your name? I like CL Clone Commander. JB says, hey, hey, okay, this is going to sound weird, but I'm on my phone. I actually can't see any video feed. I'll join on my computer in a bit. Hello, anyways. Oh, okay. Well, hello. J. Where Garrett? <laughs> He's at home, maybe. I don't know. Might be at work. And Infinity says, I gotta do homework. Keep up the good work, Rich Boy J. I will do it. Amazon Prime laptop stand. Nah, man. I have a perfectly good. Oh, I see what you did. Never mind. I see what you did there. I thought you were telling me to look up look on Amazon Prime for an actual stand that isn't just this box, but I see what you did there. Okay, I like I like what's going on here. What you don't know where Garrett is? Contrary to popular belief, I don't keep tabs on Garrett. He's an autonomous being, collecting bricks. So I see what you did there, Jay. I'm glad you picked up on that. Did you know I kidnapped inactive mock builders? I got Chris who next? <laughs> oh my god. Who else is an inactive mock builder that needs to be set straight? I also want you to go look at Adoria Lego Studios and look at the collab we had at Brickfest last weekend. You and Adoria did a collab? I actually talked to Aiden relatively um, often. I didn't know you guys did a collab, though. Apparently, Garrett's in Mexico. All right, that's cool. Thanks for the invite, Garrett. Imagine building SMH. I am building! There are parts in my hand. I'll just build... Here, I'll just build like this. So you guys stop telling me I don't build on these streams. Are you happy now? Jeez. My arms are going to be sore thanks to you guys. Yeah, we made a lug in Colorado. Oh, I totally forgot. You guys both live in Colorado. Okay, that makes sense. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen it. Collecting Bricks says, at this point, Cena builds more than Garrett. That's That might not be a lie. I am watching this while working on not Star Wars Legos. What are you working on, then? You call that building, Jay? Oh my god. Why aren't you in an online lug? Are you in an online lug, Mason? Are you? Are you? What's up, Jedi Bob? He says, I feel like people care more about asking about Garrett than watching you. I feel that way too. I'm never, see that's the thing about YouTube. After having Garrett on this channel for so long, I'll never be enough for you guys. And that will haunt me to my grave. When will we get a room tour? Yes, at some point, one day. It says, bro, putting two by fours together does not cl classify as building. Why does that not classify as building? I'm just curious.
Garrett should replace you. Is that what you want? Not true, Jay. We're just worried Garrett might not be taking his rich boy gummies. I assure you he is doing that. I made a super bomb joke on match stream when he didn't match mine and it went straight over his head. What did you say? We'll see if I can actually get it. Does stacking studs count as building? Yes! Putting pieces together counts as building. Don't let Zandy tell you otherwise. Zandy's just jealous. He's overly critical. He never listens. He doesn't understand. Please make progress. I have high hopes. I'd certainly like to. <laughs> the inner machinations of Matt's mind are an enigma. And then, did you also, like, knock over a glass of milk? I don't think Matt's a huge Spongebob fan, to be honest. So, Currently building a Hogwarts mock, my man. Building a Hogwarts mock doesn't count as building. Q spilled milk carton. Here we go. Where did you buy the shelves in the background of your Q&A? That's a great question. I think like Home Depot. I think that's where I got them. Only the worthy know how to get rich boy gummies. Can you be the spokes lady for rich boy gummies? At Brick Fiesta next year, if you actually show up, we can film like a commercial. I'm, I'm all about merchandising. Rich Boy J's tw year 2020 is all about merchandising. By the way, Jay, I rewatched the OT last week. Gotta admit, now the TIE Fighters are actually blue. Not so much in any hope, but definitely Return of the Jedi. Thank you! I'm so glad you admitted that. You guys had me l looking like I was crazy. Are you going to bring on Chicago? If so, I'll see you there and bring uh, be bringing Alderaan. Yes, I'll be there, and um, I can't wait to see that. I'm guessing, you, are you doing, like, the arc from the Clone Wars with Saul Gurira? With Sir Gurira. Saul Gurira. I made a Spongebob reference in the comments of the latest mock showcase. What did you say? I don't even remember. I love how we have a The Brick Fanatic, too. We have JD Brick Fanatic and The Brick Fanatic. He says, it was so funny watching you go mad about it. I regret nothing. Wow. You guys are going to start turning my hair gray. That would be the day. I know I'll be old, like, when I'm on YouTube and my hair starts turning gray. That's how I'll know I've been on YouTube for a long time. Shout out to Jedi Bob for the dono. He says, have you had any ideas about the fan room yet? Yes, I have, actually. I think at this point I know exactly what I'm going to do. And I think it'll be pretty sweet. I said, write that down, write that down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I actually read that, and I didn't really get the reference, to be honest. What's up, T. Peters? He says, I had my first grade in high school. Wow. I guess that happens. You know, some people just gray earlier than others. It says, you've already been on YouTube for more than a decade by this point. You're already an old boy. Zandy, don't call me old. It makes me feel bad. Says, it has been too long since I had the pleasure of making your presence. Y'all are so nice. So you aren't in EL, I thought you were. Does that mean Empire Lug? If you're talking to me, no, I'm not. But Jay, a lot of the ladies are into gray. Oh my god. Is that true? Can our, our resident lady in the chat um, collecting bricks confirm or deny that? If you guys are ever wondering why you're not having good luck with the ladies, it might just be because you don't have enough gray hair, according to Jedi Bob. <laughs> Jay, me and my uncle found 500 pounds of mini figs for 10 grand. Jeez, did you buy them? So true, ladies like a wise man. Does, do you, does having gray hair actually, like correlate with wiseness though in the eyes of, of a lady though what's up Brian Riff how you doing man my boy B Riff ladies like blonde tips there we go I just wait 40 years till I can get a lady 
Who knows, man? You, Mason, you might get lucky and get gray hair in high school like some people. He says, no, it's a little expensive. Yeah, you think? Depends on if the hair is dark bluish gray or light bluish gray. <laughs> what if it's actually um, not light bluish gray, it's actually sand blue? I'll see you, Brickhead. Take care, man. I'm guessing, are you going to work? He says, you are so right. Luke with gray hair was not very wise. Luke with gray hair was more wise than any Jedi we've seen on screen. Don't at me. It's a very colorful mock. It is, right? Like, looking at the mock from this perspective is actually quite colorful. Welcome back, Matt. Welcome back, Mac. What about me? I'm a wash Jedi. Jedi Bob doesn't have gray hair, though. I don't know, is Jedi Bob a wise Jedi? Let's take a vote. Is Jedi Bob a wise Jedi, guys? What about Jocasta? That's a good point. Keanu Mundi was a dumb Jedi with gray hair. Jedi Bob was never on screen, though. He's not part of the poll. Oof! Some shots fired. Are you just going to accept that, Jedi Bob? Or are you going to defend your honor? Would you guys be receptive to a Jedi Bob remake in, like, Flesh Tone? Or would there be those people who are like, Oh, it's not like the original. I want a yellow Jedi Bob. Jamie and Phasma are going to dinner. You want me to come? Wait, me and you're saying you and Phasma are going to dinner. And you asked me if I want to come. Um, bring Ayla and we'll do a double date. How about I bring my wife, Bazine? She says, nah, Jedi Bob was a one and done. Oof. Jedi Bob was a one hit wonder. Jedi Bob, more like Jedi Millie Vanilli. If anyone in the chat gets that reference I'll give you a ring pop here's another one are Imperial Star Destroyers gray or are they white um, they're actually I'd say closer to white they're kind of like a dirty white I think in Lego they're better in for in, as light gray though light bluish gray Looking for my two by six dark gray bricks. Two by six dark gray bricks. I'm waiting for Jedi Bob to get triggered. Jedi Bob is a Jedi. He doesn't get triggered. He gets revenge. Revenge of the Jedi. Don't let George Lucas tell you otherwise. I'm working on the building. Um, Kyle Bricks it says the lip sync. Just couldn't repeat the verse 50 times. Revenge is bad. Okay. You guys show up to Jedi school. Jedi Master Mackie is standing there like, Alright guys, I want to teach you how to be a Jedi. Okay. I'm going to learn certain rules and things you should and just should not not do. First off, if you want to be a Jedi, just know... Revenge is bad, okay? If you get revenge, you are bad, okay? Also, children, if you love someone, you are bad, okay? If you're gonna be a Jedi, you gotta know that love is bad, okay? Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Okay. Yeah, Rogue One definitely had them looking way too bright, but I'm kind of on your side here. Yeah, and Rogue One especially, because we get that just so, that's such an up-close shot of it. It looks very, very white. It looks white.
Okay, children. Okay. I have a question for the chat. Does anyone in the chat have the resolve to be a Jedi? Could you go your life resisting temptation and love? I'm just curious. It says, who knows? Maybe that was brand new. That's a good point. It was earlier in the days of the Empire. Hey, what's up, First Order Lego? How you doing, man? I'm a Sith guy. T. Peter says, I get mad too easily. <laughs> that is not the Jedi. Well, apparently, like, you being mad doesn't... Like, you can be a Jedi and get freaking angry. Obi-Wan gets pretty angry with Anakin on multiple occasions. And no one says anything to him. You'll be expelled from the Jedi Order! So love leads to the dark side, but getting angry doesn't, apparently. If being a Jedi excludes my Minecraft girlfriend, I'm out. First Order Lego says he'd be a Mandalorian. I got too many Twi'leks all over me to be a Jedi. Oh my god. Okay, that's comment of the week. Oh my god. Save some for the rest of us, Brick City Whips. Sheesh. Mace Windu seems constantly angry. Exactly. Apparently fear leads to anger and anger leads to hate. Well, I don't know. Maybe anger doesn't lead to hate. Maybe anger leads to becoming a powerful Jedi. I'm a Jedi because no one loves me. Aww. Says making that on Tatooine, it was my own idea. Thoughts? Um... What kind of battle is it going to be? I don't know. Are you, are you doing like, are you going to be inspired by Battlefront 2? Sorry, brother, all mine. Hurt Jabba had some in his palace. High mileage. Oh my god. This is getting too deep. We want the Boyo songs on Spotify. How do, how do I even go about doing that? Is that something I can just easily do? Do I need to pay money to put my music on Spotify for other people to download? I don't actually use Spotify, so I don't know. Ayla Secura, Charlotte Flair, Ula, the slave at Dallas Palace, which one do you date? I'll take... I'll go with Ula. Mace Windu is cool, but he also is, like breaks all the rules and make the Jedi code really vague. <laughs> like straight up chops off Jango's head without a care. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Uh, dismemberment maybe isn't against the Jedi. I don't know, dude. The Jedi and the Freakles are so confusing. I don't know. I want a lightsaber, but I'm definitely not Jedi material. I'm a man of the Empire, and I love chicks. So nope. I don't think Sith can have chicks either, though, you know? Like, I, I mean, Palpatine probably could have tried to save Padme if he really wanted. I don't think she, he wanted her around, though. I think the Sith would probably tell you, yeah, no chicks, man. This is a no chick zone. Jay, what do you prefer, OG Battlefront or the new Battlefront? Um, the OG was more expansive, like, but... I don't know. I didn't play the, the old one a ton as a, as a child. So I can't say I'm even super nostalgic over it. Um, as For me, I get more usage out of the newer one because of just the graphics. Because I'm building mocks, so it's good mock reference material. But I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I can tell you about some of the rules of dismemberment, but it'd be easier without typing. Oh, I mean, it's fine. I don't... I don't it's fine. What if Padme was cloned? Why can't they just clone everyone? Let's just clone everyone in Star Wars. So we'll always have our favorite characters to go back to. Because no one likes new things in Star Wars. Jay, you're not building. This is clickbait. Oh my god. You guys... You guys act too much of... Ask too much of me. Go make a motion in the Senate where that kind of request belongs. 
Don't ask that of me. Make a motion in the Senate where that kind of request belongs. You stupid idiot. Packed for BB. What's BB? Bricks. But I don't know. What the heck is BB? Clone the ice cream maker, dude. Clone Wilro Hood. I mean, as a Sith Lord, you can just get a female apprentice and tell her whatever you do is part. Oh, dude, no. No. No, no, no. You went too far. You've gone too far in a few places. All right. I th haven't we learned enough from Bill Cosby? Haven't we learned enough from Harvey Weinstein? Come on, man. Honestly, at the end of The Last Jedi, it's the closest to O.T. Yoda's vision of the Jedi because he saves everyone pacifistically. I really love that given how crappy the P.T. Jedi were at passes. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We are keepers of the peace, not soldiers. And then, and then, oh, oh, the, the next movie, not even the next movie. Like they're like like generals apparently. Else, <sighs> is everyone dumb and stupid? I broke my hip, so I have a lot of time to build. I'm sorry to hear that, man. How'd you break your hip? When Big Larry came and tried to put him down. Derek Black turned into a clown and nobody ever wants to sit with the Derek Black that went and <laughs> broke his hip. I promise I'm not trying to make light of that situation. I'm sorry you broke your hip. But I couldn't, I couldn't pass that up. Come on. I know I shouldn't mope around, I shouldn't curse, but the pain feels so much worse. Thank you, Brick City Whips. Derek says I was playing soccer, and instead of the tenon breaking, it tore off my bone. Yikes! I'm sorry about that, man. Make a song about cloning. Can someone type the lyrics of uh, of uh, Jedi Rocks in the chat? Jelly I've asked this before, but have you seen Star Wars Parody Troopers? I have not. You, yeah, you did ask me that. I still haven't seen it. If you remind me, I'll actually try to watch it. Um, plan for your next mock. It'll probably be something episode nine related. I was talking about this earlier, but um, hopefully this weekend we'll see some stuff from D twenty three about it. Jay, what if you wrote a spinoff of Murnon Anakin's mind about Mace being a keeper of the peace? <laughs> we are keepers of the peace, bro. How can you keep the peace without cutting people's heads off? All right. Shout out to Eli Hacker, who's apparently at school right now. I hope. I hope somebody's learning you something big, boy. Or sand in your butt. Or you can build Clone Wars. What is that? That sounds stupid. Question, what are your thoughts on uh, Season 2 Trust for Resistance? Yes, great question. Can't believe we haven't talked about that yet. Um, I want to do a video on it. I just didn't. But... It looks great. I love that they're traveling to many more locations. I think that's going to be really interesting. It's very sad that apparently this is the last season for it. However, I guess it makes sense given like the timeline of things, where we are. Um, I guess I didn't. I wouldn't expect for I wouldn't expect for the series to go after episode nine, or at least not in any extensive kind of way. Um, it's still kind of disappointing, though, but um, I loved it. Uh, the trailer looked great. I'm super hyped for it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Joe Yauza, Kuni Tang, Nanana Alawa, Kuni Tang, Slice Noodles, Cha Tang Ma, Cha Churan, Tani Ichu, Rastal Gurita, and Lin Mi. 
Ima Chai Chu Ron. Oh my god. That that is something. Alright, see a collector bricks. Take care. And five says, imagine not building the the prequels. Yeah, I only build stuff from good films. Except for that business with Pat Me's apartment. We won't talk about that. Jay, do you buy any non-Star Wars sets? Yeah, I buy the modulars. Um, I've bought a few of the Spider-Man Homecoming sets. Um, I'd say for me it's like Star Wars, some like city stuff, if I, if I see that, I like it. And then other pop culture stuff I like. Like I'm getting that friend set day one. I'll probably do a friend set stream and we can all talk about friends. What's up, Rebel Figs? And it's not what you want. I felt that when he sang Cootie Tang. True. True, true. I won't go to that stream. I don't have any friends. You'll have friends in us. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Cause you've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. How can you get sick of that song? How'd you get your YouTube name? And, um... <laughs> my favorite lyric from Jedi Rocks is... Ah, da, 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 da. Um, so, back in the day, when I was but a wee little boyo, I had a favorite rapper. His name was Rich Boy. So, whenever I made my channel, I decided to name it Basically, his name, Rich Boy, and then the first four letters of my name, J. Rich Boy J. Sing the cringiest song you know. Um, I don't know the lyrics to it, but it would have to be that Firefly song. If I knew the lyrics to it, I'd sing it, but I don't know. He says, J, your voice is audible chocolate that my ears have been starving for. Creed says, I hope Cast 360 knows Ghost Tan in season two. Bro, I'm not gonna lie though. Seeing um seeing Tam in the first order of pilot uniform was pretty cool. Cause you've got a friend in me. Alright, see ya Eli Hacker. Jay, you should put on some bad lip-reading Star Wars music on. That's interesting. What's up, King Bibby? KB? Firefly. I'm not talking about the TV show. I'm talking about that song, Fireflies. I love Firefly the show. I don't know. Who sings that song, Fireflies? Someone should know it. it says, Jay, you should read up the entire Star Wars saga just by yourself. Uh, that'd be great. I'd love to do that. I'll, I'll call it Boyo Wars. That'd be funny. I wonder... Huh. Jay, you look hilarious down there. I know, right? I feel so short behind this large thing. Oh, the, the person that sings the Firefly song is called Seagulls? That's their name? Seriously? Seagulls? Okay, then why do people keep saying seagulls? It could be a dono incentive. What's the do Oh, singing the cringy song? What happened to Screaming Seagull? He comes in um, every now and again. I'm so confused that I totally missed something.
We're referring to the bad lip reading song. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Redubbing the movies. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now everything makes sense. Redubbing the movies. Oh my god. All right. If anyone really wants to see me redub the Star Wars movies, donate right now, and I'll tell you how I feel afterwards. <laughs> Cause you've got a friend in me. You've got a boy -o in me. You've got a boy -o in me. Cause you've got a boy -o in me. It says currently building Anderson's Star Destroyer. Who's that? I don't think I've seen that one. Says, well, actually, I'm still waiting on some parts, but they should get here tomorrow. I'm totally hyped, and I can stop worrying about the UCS one. What if the UCS one is blows it out? I mean, I doubt it will. I don't know who that is, though. You've got a boy in me. You've got a boy in me. This stream is leaving me confused. It makes, the stream makes a lot of sense if you just don't think about it, you know? You dig? What does your mom think of your singing? I don't sing around my mom very often. It's on Bricklink, the 19,000 part Intimidator. I still, here, I'll look it up right now. Want to do on a want to oh want to go on a date with me to Olive Garden, if you're paying, sure. Okay, I just pull it up. That is intense. Oh my god, wow. Yeah, you, if you're building that, you don't have to worry about the Lego one. That is insane. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh my god. You would not believe your eyes if 10 million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep because they fill the open air and leave teardrops every- What an- Oh my god. What a horrible song. That is easily the cringiest song I know. If you got a dollar for every time you built in the street, you'd have zero dollars. Why are you so mean to me? You were supposed to be my friend. Dude, that thing looks insane. Oh my god. Jay, what's your favorite tie variant? Um, I like the Special Forces First Order tie the most, I'd say. I loved you like a brother. Isn't it funny? Anakin looks at Obi-Wan like a father, but Obi-Wan looks at Anakin like a brother. Mm. Mm. I'm haunted by the kiss. The kiss that you should have never given me. Don't let this kiss become a star. TIE Defender is absolutely the dumbest looking TIE Fighter. Obi-Wan is like a reluctant stepdad, yeah. Obi-Wan's Obi a reluctant foster parent. You were my mother, Anakin. What is your opinion on the First Order Special Forces TIE Interceptor from the Episode 9 trailer? It looks dope. It looks da 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 dope. Yeah, my wife was kind of mad about it. I played my cards well. She was just happy when I told her I don't have a lot of the parts needed. I won't be buying the UCS one anytime soon. That's fair enough. How many, like, what percentage of the parts did you actually have on hand? 
Or is that something you just told her? Also, if King Fab's wife is listening right now, I didn't mean that question because he would never lie to you. Hey, what's up, Anakin? Happy early birthday. Are you doing anything special for it? You've got a friend in me. What's up, Fives? How you doing, bro? I have to go to school on my birthday. That's one nice thing I've never experienced. I have a summer birthday, so I've never... I've never had to go to school on my birthday, but then the other side of that is I've always wanted to, like, have a birthday during the school year because I've always wanted, like, to see all my school friends on my birthday. Since I think 20%, which, yeah, that's actually pretty good. You... Oh, God. Hold on one sec, boyos. Hey, what's up? Okay. All right, sounds fine. Okay. Yup. Uh, what time is that? Because I'm streaming right now. No, I'm talking about um, when you're doing her hair. Okay. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, love you too. All right, bye bye. Yeah, you guys know it's not a boyo stream unless I get a phone call. You guys should just be used to it by now, right? Jay is not the father. Yeah, Ada, can I know who you are? <laughs> I know exactly who you are. You had the giant boat at Brick Fiesta. Jay, you should stream on the 28th. What's happening on the 28th? Oh, I got a new phone, by the way, guys. Check me out. I finally upgraded from this thing right here. So, for, there are two things wrong with this phone. For one, the edge of the screen is cracked. You can see right there. Um, the other thing about it is the back of this phone is actually obliterated. Like, that's the ba that's the inside of the phone you're seeing. So the blue part is the back, and then the rest of that is the inside of the phone. So I had to basically keep this case on it to not cut my, my hand up from using this phone. So, yeah, that's a thing. So actually, I will say, the back is totally not my fault. Now, initially, it's supposed to be black. It's supposed to be an all-black phone. Um, the phone fell, and the back got destroyed initially. So I went to this place and they replaced it with the blue one, but I guess they didn't apply it correctly. Like there was too much space between the glass back and the actual phone. So literally like, I literally could just push my thumb down on it and it cracked. That's how fragile it was. So it just ended up all falling apart after a while. So I just put it in this case, but I do not need that anymore as your boy is now with another phone. You guys feeling that background? You guys feeling that background, though? Do? 
So yeah, that's what's going on in my life right now. Jay just found out he's adopted. Oh my god. At this late in my life, I don't know how I'd react to that. I'd be like, you really couldn't have told me earlier? Why'd you wait so long? Probably leave it on the table on building it for a while. That one is a little smaller than the ISD itself. Are you working on something else, King Fab? Did I miss what you were talking about? School starts in five days. That following week, we skip school for a week and gets to go try out um, how it is having a job. And I called the liquor store. They said I could work there on gas. Nice, man. Congrats. The Forder gunship would look good on that phone. Bro, Mason, stop. Just, bro, you're so disrespectful. I swear, you are so disrespectful. Don't you ever disrespect me again by recommending something like that. That is so disrespectful. Bro, that four door gunship might be the worst thing that's ever been made by a human. Other than the bagpipes. Imagine you guys meet your dream girl, and then you find out she likes the four-door gunship. Says, yeah, I'm also building something original for once, but that's a secret for now. Why is that a secret? May I share a realization I had with you, Jay? I was thinking about TLJ and how Luke's arc progresses. Yeah, for sure. Go for it. Preach to me, man. I like the Sandcrawler Lego from 13. Yeah, the UCS Sandcrawler is a good one. I have that set. I actually have it still in box, but I prefer... To build um, cave gods slash martial bananas, however you want to look at that. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever actually build the Lego one. You know. That cave god sand collar in person is just insane. What's up, Tendo sixty four? That might be my favorite username I've seen in a while. Tendo sixty four. All right, I'll see you if I can stream on the 28th um, Mac. Have you ever encountered a Karen working at the Lego store? Like someone who asked to speak to my manager? No. Mason says, I wonder what the two-door gunship fans would think if they knew you touched one with four doors. We'll keep that a secret between you, me, and everyone else on this stream. You fool. I've been trained in your Jedi arts by Count Dooku. Do you ever get, like, really rude people like a store? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, any retail job, you're going to get rude people. That's just the name of the game. It's nothing a good paddling won't fix, though. So, like, Luke's arc in The Last Jedi is a mirror to Anakin's in Return, um, in that he's fallen from grace, having made a short-sighted mistake that cost him everyone he loved. Continued. My Nintendo friends always make fun of me because I don't know what they're talking about, but when I say hello there, they mess up the line and laugh. Okay. Have you... Okay. Jedi Bob, I guess, decided he didn't want his message to be seen. But then he chooses, after intervention from a younger Jedi, to rescue the people he cares for at the end, at the cost of his own life. I mean, that is not untrue. Um, I mean, yeah, that's not untrue. That's, that's actually a, a good point. I need to rethink what I, Okay. <laughs> you gonna rethink your life, Jedi Bob? Yeah, that's a good point. I never considered that.
I guess the, the only thing about that is like the problem with that is Anakin's decision. It wasn't. I wouldn't say Anakin's decision was short sighted. Like it was. There was. I don't know, I'd say for both of them there was. No, I'd say Anakin's had more build up. Even I mean, it wasn't great build up, but it was it was more like. Whereas Luke's was like he was more or less the same person, kind of leading up to that. Maybe he was you know troubled with the Ben situation. I guess he was because he talks he says as much about how like um, he saw the darkness rising in him. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I described either of those actually as a short sighted mistake or a short sighted decision rather. <laughs> yeah, if you guys can do me a fave, go ahead and like the stream. I would certainly appreciate it. Anakin says, Anakin is my favorite character. That's how I got my name. I like the name. I have instant regret not bringing my laptop with me to the hotel. Are you in a hotel right now? Where are you? Where are you? Right now I'm writing a Halo fan fiction, but I'm rewriting the entire history of Halo. You should totally talk to Jedi Bob about that. I'm sure he would see there in there he is. Fair fair the different the different choices that spin them off to a different place. Yeah, I mean yeah, I get the parallel you're making. Um I guess the difference though is I mean I, the obvious difference, though, is Vader's... Vader is actually being redeemed there. As in... And Luke's is, I guess, somewhat of redemption, but not in the same way that Vader's was. Like, Luke didn't go the complete opposite of, of what his character was. Yeah Luke, yeah, Luke didn't become evil. He became indifferent, which, you know, is problematic in itself, but he wasn't specifically evil. Jay, do you enjoy Brickworld Chicago more or Brick Fiesta? Um, Brickworld Chicago is a bigger convention, and there's more people there um, that, that are into Star Wars. So, yeah, I'd probably say Brickworld more. What's up, Ace Austin Nash? Mason says, I could work on such important things like V2 gunship instructions or my Minecraft house. So, where are, like, why are you in a hotel? What is What are you doing? Yeah, it's actual rhythm. And not rhythm in the George Lucas way, but like actual rhythm. It's like poetry, it rhymes. When are we gonna collab on a mock? Bro, I'm ready when you are, just let me know. Do you like Star Wars, Austin? If you like Star Wars, we can build a mock together. Jay, I sent you a post you're gonna like. All right, let's see what we got. So he made a custom gold C three PO. I have a Star Wars tattoo, so I think I do. I suppose. It says we're in Northern California for a few days because my sister has to move into a house. Oh, okay. My boy M five builds is in NoCal. I don't know. I feel like if you're gonna make a custom C three PO. Especially a Chrome one. Like, why not make it detailed? Like, why try to make it look like the Lego one? I don't know. Northern Cali sucks. How far north are you? Do you consider San Francisco to be Northern California? Are you even more north than that? Texas represent. 
All right, cool, Austin. Come through, bro. We can build a mine. You gotta promise not to steal anything, though. I want my bird. I promise, bruh. I'm just saying. I know how you act, man. Do I live in Texas? Yes, I live in Houston. We're in hum Humboldt County and there's no Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have in and out there, right? I'll take in and out over Chick-fil-A 10 times out of 10. And Southern Cali is where it's at, but I mean, Northern Cali isn't awful. Austin, if you don't like in and out, we can't build. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. And then I was actually underrated, but thanks for trying. On the opposite end, I think it was pretty dumb for clones to copy the structure of the Empire while not having any kind of strong character-related reveal slash twist like these are clones is not a twist. Um, I think that, I don't know. <laughs> the twist in that was apparently that... The Emperor might have made them, or some guy named Sifo Diaz might have made them, or like started the order for the. I don't know, man. Every time I try to think about the prequels too hard, my head hurts. Jay, mind sending me some in and out? We don't have that here. I got you, bro. I'll send it right over. Alright, see ya, Cal Bricks. He says, speaking of in and out I gotta go. Speaking of in and out I'm out of here. What's up, Cloud Building Productions? That's weird. You haven't gotten a notification at all. Um, no, there's not in and out of Houston, but there will be later this year. They've, I'm pretty sure they've started construction on it. It is in Texas, yeah. Um, not here in Houston specifically, but... There are a few in Texas. And no, Whataburger is not better. Don't believe what you hear. It's not. What's up, Cam All Star Bricks? Like, Empire has a hapam show of I Am Your Father. Clones has Jenga's working for the Separatists. <laughs> Maybe Sidious was working with them. I don't know. Nah, bro. Empire. The, the Clones has the bombshell of that random kiss that Anakin and Padme share. That's what it does. When's Brick Fiesta? It'll be July 28th. I think next year. No, maybe a little bit early. It'll be in July next year for sure. Am I a cowboy? Yes. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. I'm a cowboy. Cowboy Jay. Jay's a cowboy. He's been after you. you heard wrong. Absolutely not. The only thing I hate more than the Star Wars prequels are the Dallas Cowboys. Appreciate that, Anakin. You and your exclusive burger joints. What exclusive food joints do you have in Canada? Says, yo, Jay, I'll go to Brick Fiesta if I'm able to get some in and out You will, you will be able to get in and out Do it. Do it. Do it. I 
I don't think is A and W uniquely Canadian. I'm pretty sure I've seen one of those here in Houston. Or triple O's. I have no idea what triple O's is. It sounds like cereal. Triple O's. There used to be one in Missouri City. I think they pulled out of those areas. I mean, yeah, I, def I definitely... They're not common, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen one here in H-Town. <laughs> the muscles in my legs pulled so hard they yeeted into space. How exactly did that happen? Haven't been to Texas in six years. Do it, man. Come down. I'll get to show you the Boyo Studio. If you come to Brick Fiesta next year. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a bad thing. That's a good point. Jay, thoughts on PewDiePie? I have no thoughts on PewDiePie. I haven't watched his videos. It's not really my thing. Claude, what are you talking about? No conventions near me up here in Maine. Alas, no showcasing my Lego. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Jay, if I donate, can I be in the Vardos Boyle Lounge or is it too early? Is that a joke? I mean, that has to be a joke, right? Unless you just mistakenly said Vardos instead of Starkiller. How many characters of Star Wars do you have? Um, as for like unique characters, I have like around 780 minifigs. It was a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, one of my suggestions. I'm laying here and all of a sudden my right calf is like, pay attention to me. Bro, you gotta show your calf some love. If you don't love them, then who will? Oh, darn it. Seaweed, 50% sea, 50% weed. Plankton, 5% evil, 95% hot gas. Yeah, where is Jedi Bob? We need him to come restore order to the chat. Jay, what's your thoughts on Star Wars Existence Season 2? Also, it being the last season in the series. Um, I'm disappointed it's the last season in the series, but I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to season two. That's for sure. Jay, you should watch The Office while you build before it leaves Netflix. When is The Office leaving Netflix? What's your favorite mock that you've shown in the mock showcase so far? That's a hard question to answer. That's so hard. I know um, Lamborghini waffle sauces, ace uh, ships from Resistance are great. J 
Jedi Master Sifo Dias. Did I screw this up somehow? Oh, crap. I totally screwed this up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This wall is too long. Can we agree Lego Star Wars Force Awakens is not a fun game? Um, I thought it was decent. I thought some of the puzzles were unnecessarily complicated. Jay, is that bleach in the background? Perhaps. Just when you think you take two steps forward, you end taking four steps backwards. What in the world is going on in the chat right now? So one thing I did recently, and I think you guys should probably, it's worth doing for you. Um, I watched a video. I haven't watched the whole thing. I just watched a few minutes of it. Um, basically all the cutscenes from The Force Awakens. And there's actually some like pretty funny stuff in there. I think I've been too hard on it. Like There are multiple times where I laughed out loud. So previously I would kind of criticize the humor. I'd say they were trying too hard. But there's a lot of it, I feel, that hits, so take that as you will. Jay, when will you trade accounts with Broke Boy Jay? I'll be broke, I'll do that for like April Fools, change my channel name to Broke Boy Jay. Alright, see you fives. Yo, rich boy, I'm lit in class. My teacher's talking and I'm watching um, your stream right in front of my teacher. He's kind of old, so oh, no taking advantage of your old teacher. That ain't cool. All right, see you, Mac. All right, let's see if I can actually do this correctly this time. Why haven't you joined any online legs? I just haven't needed to. I got me a local lug. She ain't much, but she's got it where it counts. Hey look, Broke Boy J back from the dead. It's a miracle. So you guys, do you guys remember Jen Erso from Rogue One? Yeah, me neither. That's what I'm here for, Tendo, to read them comments.
maybe one day down the line, like 10 years from now, when everyone's all nostalgic for Disney Star Wars, they'll bring back Jen Erso. Jen Erso had a twin. Jen Erso had a twin sister named Twin Erso. How about that? And they'll do a movie about her. It'll be a big reveal. Jen Erso and Twin Erso. Urso, a Star Wars story. And also, her father is Finn Urso. No, her father is Galen Urso. But their grandfather could be Qui Gon Jinn Urso. You should get a cat so you could build with it. How exactly is a cat supposed to help me build? Jin Urso, Twin Urso, and Qui Gon Jin Urso. Galen Urso, Jin Urso. Appreciate that, Jack Rutledge Gumbel. Yes, it's fixed. Appreciate that, Jack. My teacher is finally opening his eyes and realizing people are on their phones. Why is your teacher not awake is my question. Sergio says, tell me. Tell me now. This is boyo business. Go back to your drinks. Uh, are you using Battlefront 2 as a reference tool for this mock? Um, I've used it a little bit, yeah. That I have. Here we are. The good stuff. JD, the Synth Trooper minifigs will be the most expensive. Uh, we'll be in the most expensive episode nine sets and we'll get all six Knights of Ren. Um, I want to say we're probably not going to get all the Knights of Ren because it's Lego and why would they do that? But um, I don't think the, the Sith Troopers will be the most expensive set, actually.
<laughs> Jay, have you been to the Chum Bucket? I heard their service was bad. Yeah. They don't even have real employees. They just have this one robot lady named Karen. Appreciate that, Oz Gamer. I really wish they'd recreate Clone Wars exclusive figures with new movie accurate styles, style helmets. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. I guess we'll see what they decide to do with this new Clone Wars season coming out. How heavily marketed do you think the Knights of Ren are going to be? I think they're going to be actually marketed quite a bit. There's also a strip club near the Chum Bucket. Aw. <laughs> oh. King Fab, what is your problem, man? Dude. <laughs> what? You kiss your mother with that mouth? It says, instead of uh, First Order, you should do AV figures. And the 2014 Phase 2 White Clone for Starkiller. Oh. That'll be cheap. Another phone call. Hey, what's up? Um, sure, yeah. Alright, here I come. Alright. Looks like this one's going to get cut a little short, guys. I got to go pick up my little brother. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it on that. But um, it was a good time. Had a good time chilling with you guys. Uh, depending on what happens, uh, I might end up streaming later as well. We'll see how that goes. Jay is in trouble. Your brother isn't necessary. Oh my god. No, don't go. Your brother can walk. Jeez, guys. Y'all are mean. Do an Octo Island mock with your porgs, please. Like the big ones? I consider that. There was a really funny one at um, Brickworld Chicago. You can check out my Brickworld mock showcase to see it. Plastic or your brother. Wow. Spoken like a person who's never experienced love. But yeah, um, I might be back for another stream, guys. We'll see. Um, I have a few other things to do this evening, but if I can make the time, I will make the grind and actually stream. So thanks to everyone who tuned in. Appreciate all of you lovelies for coming through. It's always a pleasure to see your beautiful profile pics and um stay tuned got i guess your questions answered coming up tomorrow um most likely a let's play on saturday then of course another star killer update on the day of the sun so take care guys